So, hello everybody, this is Pablo speaking and I want to talk today about how to build Linux Siemens with Redkit for a better device and how to do it using a BSP. Uh, in sake of simplicity, we will focus this time the presentation with the Raspberry Pi, but uh, the still you can easily translate any of the ideas that we are going to show today to another hardware in the market. Um, before going into the details, um, I want to explain a bit the WP architecture and how the WebKit is organized in components. In this figure, you can see the layers in what WP is structured. Uh, usually an uh, application in the top of the Koch library and the one that usually implements the UI process role. This application is linked to the WebKit library. Um, below in the WebKit layer, there is something that you can identify like the backend uh, and what it is the responsible of the particle implementation of the frame rendering, uh, the input handling and in how the communications between the different created subprocess works. Um, this is because WebKit follows a multiprocess model where many processes working together to provide the web page rendering. There is a UI process who control the, of the applications. Uh, there is web process that provides the handler for the web content, and many other processing chairs of many other things that are out of the scope of the uh, presentation. Keeping the focus in the UI process and in the web process, we got that there is a relationship, a direct relationship or direct correspondency between the logical representation of a web page in the web process and the web views displayed by the UI. Uh, so this correspondency means uh, interaction between those processes as well and automatically explain the separation of DVP in several components. How this interaction works is defined by the WP library, uh, but basically it specifies the set of the interface required to implement all the required dialogues between the web process and the UI process. So let's consider the lead WP like a stretching layer that requires of particular implementation. Um, that is what precisely a backend, a WP backend, it is. Uh, the DPP backends, they provide the implementation of the interface defined by the libdpp. They provide a particular implementation about how to render uh, the web views, uh, how to handle the input methods, and um, um, it provides the specific details to perform these implementations in the specific uh, graphic uh, operating system stack. Uh, we have several implementations. Uh, the most relevant are the IRDK backend and the IFDO, but we have many others available in the repositories as well. And as I said, uh, because to get a suitable configuration to be a DBP for a specific board can be, um, can be a tedious thing, to get something that facilitates the tasks looks like quite convenient. And there is where a BSP helps a lot. Uh, BSP is the software layer that enables the hardware specific platform. That is what a, a BSP is. Uh, for example, uh, this uh, framework provides the solution for the bot loader and the support for the Linux kernel. All the it provides the support for all the peripherals, storage, network interface, the graphic stack as well. It provides the the full user space to set. Um, is specifically for our case, it has to provide as well the full WebKit stack, included the the WebKit uh, runtimes, the libraries, and the, and the specific libraries to build a browser on top of WebKit by Cook it is. Uh, all this together provides the full support for all the different uh, layers that saves a 
functional system for a particular board and provides as well the ecosystem for developing against uh, a specific board target. Provides the support for cross population to get the source code, to extend recipes to get more software in the top of the distribution provided by the by this framework, um, and of course provides the tooling to generate uh, image, uh, yeah, basically image a satisfactory way. And of course, there are a bunch of other alternatives, but these two particular frameworks are the most consolidated uh, lately with the past of the years. One, because the simplicity that they have, and the another, because the flexibility and the powerful that have. Uh, in Jocto, this is uh, focused in building a full distro, a full Linux distro, based on binary packets. Uh, this one is the most powerful solution, but in somehow complex and with quite steep learning curve. And uh, in the other hand, we have the build root, uh, which is the simpler solution that provides the root file system image without binary packaging. Uh, this is much more simpler uh, to use I don't understand as well. Uh, but it's great to have it as an alternative because uh, nowadays, thanks to Adrian Perez, we have uh, official uh, web key recipes included in the official source code, so, so it's quite easy to, to use to build web kit in the top of that. Today, we are going to keep the focus in the first one, but it's worth to mention that you can use build root as well. Uh, and you can use for similar purpose and if you are looking for a faster solution and you don't require the flexibility that Jocto has, then we consider that build, uh, build root is a, is a perfect max for that. So what is Jocto? Um, we can let's say that Jocto is not a distro itself, but it's something that allows you to build your own distro. That is what Jocto it is. Uh, it combines, maintains, and validates three key development elements that are the one within in the in slide are not quite relevant for the demo today, but just in case, uh, the main components of Jocto are the, the tooling that basically is big paid and weak, uh, the reference distribution that is spooky, and the open embedded build system that is a superset of a variety of software recipes, achievements, definitions, and so on. Uh, the, the Jocto build environment is structured in layers. Let's see a layer like a set of recipes, classes, and definitions that extend the, ba the base distribution. Um, I think this is all the things that we do, do need to, to know about how Jocto is uh structured uh in the top of jacto we are going to use the meta web kit layer for a particular case to be a web kit uh this layer was created in 2015 by carlos lopez it is a compatible jacto meta layer which provides uh, recipes for not only for dpp but for web kit gtk as well uh, it provides the runtime and libraries for the kit, it provides the backends, several backends, and of course the cough library as well. So, this is how the meta web kit layer looks like in the directory 3. Um, okay, so what we are going to do next is let's go to the particular example. So, Let's go to build an image with Jocto for a Raspberry Pi. Um, <clears throat> this is the usual uh, Jocto image build process. Uh, usually we, uh, we are going to specify uh, a, a configuration, then we are going to run the big bay command that we will be to basically uh, download the required uh, source code, we'll extract it in local, and then we'll generate the binary packages that later will be installed in a root file image that will be 
the base for create a system image like the legs, uh, the last step. So that is the theory, but let's go into the uh, into the to the particular example. I'm going to modify the presentation layout to show my terminal now. And use this one. So my terminal. Okay, let me import a reset. Uh, okay. So The first thing that we have to do right now is download the job to repositories and the meta wicked uh, layer. And that is something that is documented in the slide. So what we have to do is just follow the, the recipe. So Let's download all these things and let's continue them. Okay, it seems all the repositories was successfully downloaded. So the next thing is activate the job to environment. Oh. We are. Um, what is next? The next thing is edit the BB ledgers configuration file. It specifies the layers that we are going to use to to build the image for the specific uh, hardware. This time it's going to be for Raspberry Pi, specifically for a Raspberry Pi 3. Okay. Oh. I'm going to show you. The result because this is how the pp layers comp file looks like after I did it. So the next thing is edit the local comp file. So let's do it. Uh, okay, uh, some explanation, some explanations about what we are doing here. Uh, for example, for this case, it is important for us to select the machine that is under uh, this is our Raspberry Pi 3, and uh, as well the appended uh, packages in the in the image, uh, COG and DPP WebKit. Other settings like the related with the GPU are specific for the Raspberry Pi, probably for other tweaks, uh, probably, uh, uh, sorry, uh, probably other tweaks will be required for another uh, hardware. Uh, but in one, uh, in, in somehow it will be similar things to do for other uh, course uh, take special attention or pay special attention here where we are activating the the, the mesa driver for the raspberry pi so we are not going to use the proprietary driver and uh, here where we are selecting the the ifto backend for the bp um and that is all so 
what is next um the next is just to run the uh let's say the bpay uh, command uh so that is the thing that we have to do now so let me activate again the the terminal output uh we are going to run the pick command to generate the the image okay we did uh we did a mistake in defining the or editing the vb layers from file and i think i know why let me here let me check it okay here we are uh uh this process is going to uh to take this is going to take time so what i'm going to do is just uh put in pause the the recording and i will back to you later when the procedures will be uh analyzed So it seems that the process is over. So you can see here the resulting artifacts and particularly the image that we can use for us into the SD card. And that is what we are going to do. Um, So before to run off into the Raspberry Pi, we have to plus the uh, SD card with the image. So let's do it. We are copying it. In the meantime, we are going to apply the layout, so the, the screen connected to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, we are copying, we are extracting the image. Eventually, it will be flashed in the car. And we will we will use this uh is the car to uh, and we are we and we will use this is the car into right processes okay uh it seems the image is already um uh flash it so uh, what i'm going to do now is put the sd card in the, the raspberry pi um card the uh, raspberry pi with this in okay connected now so let's try to boot up the raspberry pi I have to do and for the second time because we have uh, I, I ha I got a problem with the 
with the video camera here in local but you can see now how the raspberry pi is putting up with this image uh, the image is sharing in a western environment so let's connect it into uh let's do let's define a couple of environment tools the shell because we want to run off from the remote shell um we are we are running gbp uh, raspberry pi with our own uh, flashy team and the one that we built with from the from the scratch with our sources from Jocto and Meta Wiki. So I think that it's all. Thanks for your time. Uh, I think now is the time for questions, comments.